Hey fellow backyard boys, Nick here. So today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, I posted up my review on my heat gun and I got an interesting comment which led to an interesting idea. So I've got some bacon here and I'm going to attempt to cook the bacon with my heat gun. I've never done it before. I'm sure it can be done, but we're going to do it today. So we're going to cook some bacon with the heat gun. All right. Let's get started. Here's my bacon. Here's my heat gun. And I'm going to attempt to cook the bacon with the heat gun. So, I don't recommend that you try this at home, but I'm going to try it right now. So, let's see if this works. Mmm, it's starting to smell very bacony. Look at that bacon scissor. It's also a good time to mention that this is one reason why you want to be very careful with heat sources. Because if you're not careful, you could be the bacon. And that would not be a good thing. Mm. Let's flip it over. There you have it, a taste, one tasty strip of heat gun bacon. Actually, it looks pretty good. All right, while the other piece is cooling, I'm gonna try and see if cooking the bacon on a piece of paper will help. So, let's give it a try. So yeah, in case you guys were ever wondering, or if you ever pondered it, I guess you can cook bacon with a heat gun. This is fun. And what's great is you can target the parts you want to cook more. And stay away from the parts you don't want to cook as much. So there we go. Another piece of delicious heat gun cooked bacon. Here's the bacon that we cooked with our heat gun. It looks good. It smells good. Looks like bacon. Smells like bacon. The one that I cooked on the paper has noticeably less fat on it. So I'm going to give it a try. That's pretty good. 
It tastes like bacon. It's pretty good. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.